WBZ News Radio 1030, I'm Bradley Jay, and you're Jay talking. We're on a train trip on the Empire Builder, and it's a long trip, so we're gonna break it down into two parts. This is part one. And to help us with both parts is Bob Bjorgi of Trails and Rails, a cool organization that adds a lot to these trips. Bob? Hello, I'm Bob Bjorgi. I'm a volunteer with the Trails and Rails program, which is a joint program of the National Park Service and Amtrak. We ride the trains on Amtrak on 18 routes in North America. One of the most prominent is the Empire Builder, which runs between Seattle and Portland and Chicago. On its way from Seattle to Chicago, we pass through the North Cascade Mountains and the Rocky Mountains. Over Stevens Pass and those coming from Portland go up the Columbia River Gorge to Spokane. And from there, we proceed on to Whitefish and along the southern boundary of Glacier National Park, looking at all the beautiful mountains and scenery and history and culture of Glacier Park. Thanks, Bob. This route is especially rewarding because, as you may notice, the landscape is rarely tainted by man-made distractions, just mile after mile of mighty, mighty Mother Nature. Life on the train for 45 straight hours without a sleeping car has its challenges, but those fade and only the magic remains. This video started with quick cuts in the mountains, but now to convey space, I will let this footage ride. Not to go all David Lynch on you, but the tracks unspooling behind us through a window in the rear car is what resonates most with me. It captures the sort of fourth dimension that a long haul train trip provides. And it's the thing that many love about trains, but few can translate. Bradley J, your J Talking on WBZ News Radio 1030. Check out J Talk and the radio show Monday through Friday, midnight to five. And there's the J Talking podcast as well. So you can enjoy J Talking anywhere, anytime.